So we're in your life management. We're in Isaiah 48, 17 through 18. This is the second um, Bible verse. Thus says the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God, which teaches thee to profit, which leads thee by the way that thou should go. Oh, that thou hast hearkened to my commandments, then had thy peace as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. That's the King James Version. But when I look at when you look at it and you take it apart, what is God telling us? It's very beautiful. First, it focuses on who the Lord is. And the Lord is speaking to us. So we should be listening. Thus the Lord says. Isaiah says, the Lord is telling you. It's not Isaiah, you know, but the Lord. The Lord is saying, the Lord is telling us what? Well, first of all, who is the Lord? It says, the Lord is your Redeemer. Who's our Redeemer? Lord Jesus Christ, it has to be, because he redeemed us from our sin. He bought us by dying on the cross. He paid our, uh, paid for our sin, for your, your sin and my sin on the cross and redeemed us. So I love that in the Old Testament saying, thy Redeemer, and that's Jesus, the Holy One of Israel. He's the Holy One of Israel. He's the Holy One of the, the universe. Only he is holy. And he says, I am the Lord. I am the great I am, you know, throughout. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. And I am the Lord God who teaches you to profit. Who leads you by the way you should go. What a promise. He teaches us in whatever we do that will be, will be in profit, profitable to us. You know, that, that we will be blessed, basically. That we will be blessed That if we let him lead us. I love that picture. He's leading us. And we're following him. We're, we're the sheep of his pastor. But he, we're following the Lord Jesus. And he's leading us where to go. Where to go. Where to step. What, what door to go through. You know, what to do in our life. He leads us. And every place that he leads us will be prosperous because he leads us. I'm not saying prosperous and money wise, but prosperous in our life. That he will um, turn our lives around for the good and wherever he takes us. What a promise. Leads us by the way that we should go. So, why? Oh, that you would listen to him. Oh, that you would let him lead you. Oh, that you would hearken to his commands and listen to his commands. If you do this, he says, I will give you peace like a river and righteousness as the waves of the sea. I live it by the beach right now. And I know by the beach, when I listen to those waves come in, it gives me a peace. And I know, and but not only that, even when the waves are, are rough, I know that he brings us to that point of even walking on the on the waves. You know, um, one time in my life, I, I wasn't doing very well. In fact, I thought I was angry, you know, so I thought, okay, you know, we were in Mexico and I might as well just have a drink. You know, I, God told me a long time ago not to drink, you know. And so they were bringing, I, I drank some and, I, and then I didn't feel very good and all these things. And we went, we went to the beach and there was this, in Mexico, it was a dangerous beach that um, I didn't know was dangerous, you know, but I had a sign there. But these great, huge, gigantic sneak, sneaker waves would come in. And I was just there, you know, um, my husband was there. And I was like feeling really bad, you know, because I had drank something and I felt like I was drunk. And, and I had never done that since I'd been saved. And I was mad and, and in disobedience, you know, uh, of the Lord. And so, but as I was sitting there, this wave came and took me and brought me out. This wave just grabbed me. And I couldn't, it just like sucked me out underneath there. The wave, you know, it comes in this huge wave, you know, and, and I was tumbling. One tumble, two tumbles, three tumbles, four tumbles. And then it like, it like threw me out. I was underwater for four, four different waves. I was holding my breath, but I thought after that four wave, I thought, this is my end. I am not gonna survive these waves. I can't get out of the wave. 
and um, I'm going to die. And I called out to the Lord, and that's when I was spit out, thrown out on the beach, and I was crying. I was caked with with sand, and and and, and then I looked at more waves. I had to get out of there before the next waves came in. I got up there. I fell on my face, and I cried out to the Lord. And the Lord said to me, He said, Marianne, do you want to tumble in the waves, or do you want to walk on water with me? I said, Lord, I want to walk on water. He said, if if I disobey, if you disobey what I tell you in this commandment, you know, my past has been, you know, with, um, you know, of course, I'm Native American and Irish, and my dad had a bar and alcohol all over the place and wherever, and, and my stance, you know, as a teenager, you know, and the Lord showed me no alcohol, and I had disobeyed him. And so he said, well, do you want to, you want to tumble in the waves? You want to tumble in the waves in the life of, you know, drinking and alcohol? Or do you want, or do you want to walk on water and see my miracles? Do you want me to lead you? Do you want to surf the waves with me? It gets kind of exciting following Jesus. It's like, now you're surfing the waves <laughs> with Jesus. Uh, and beautiful beautiful picture and so I prayed and I said Lord please forgive me I don't want to tumble in the waves I want to walk on water with you and God's given me power of the Holy Spirit to do just that in life to walk on the miracles of God to be above this world to be called to be called above all of the all of the hardships of this world, all the catastrophes of this world, the sin of this world, Jesus grabs my hand, pulls me up, and I have, I am walking, I have the peace of knowing. And he says, look, Marianne. I say, yeah, it is pretty amazing. It is pretty exciting. It's adventure. It's walking with you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. The other part of this says peace. That if you just had hearkened my commandments, you would have had peace like a river. Everyone wants peace like a river, don't we? I hope you want peace like a river. Have you ever gone to the um, Sunsplash Park or whatever? And you got into that lazy river and you're just laying back on one of the tubes and you're going through. And that's a picture of the lazy river. And I like doing that. Um, but you know, those. Those times, you know, bring, as it bringing it through the lazy river, sometimes it, it takes that going through some rough times before we get on the river. Have you ever been in the rapids, you know? Um, but the thing is, when you get to that peace, it's real, really peaceful. A friend of mine, um, Elva, and she would always say, Marianne, you know, we're going through hardships, and both of us had at the same time going through these all kinds of trials. You know, and I, we were on mission trips together, and she'd say, Marianne, I think it's time to get in the river. And so we would, wherever we are, we would lay down on the floor there, and we would start praying and worshiping. And she, of course, having her gift of music, you know, a lot of times, especially if there's a piano around, but we'd get up and play the most magnificent, and we'd be in the river, peace like a river, in the midst of the trials. And so, Yes. You know, um, in the book of Ezekiel, it says, to, Ezekiel talks about getting into the river. He said, you can get in, go up to your, and you can get them to your ankles. You think, okay, I got my ankles in the river, you know, God's river, got my ankles in. You get up to your knees, you get up to your knees, okay, I got my knees in. I'm, you know, I'm doing some things for the Lord and everything. But when we get all in the center of his will, it's like peace like a river. Suddenly we're floating. <laughs> and that's what it's like to have peace like a river. And so when you're going through trials, just get in the river. Lay on your face. Get on the ground. Or wherever you are, if you can't do that, just get into prayer somehow. Get into your prayer closet and start worshiping. Worshiping him. You know, if you have a, a gift of the Holy Spirit and... Um, 
in tongues, pray, you know, however, or if you have, if you have, um, basically that gift of music, you know, um, get out your instrument and get into the river and the peace, the peace will come over you, flood over you in the midst of the worst of trials and God will give you strength in that peace. Amen.